everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and today we are making vegan cashew cream. It's a sour cream substitute. You're supposed to start this recipe off by soaking your cashews overnight. Totally forgot that step, so I am soaking mine right now in hot water for 15 minutes. This is a totally new to me thing, so I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know how it's gonna taste. It's just something that I really wanted to try and somebody had asked for a video, so I decided to film this trying to make sour cream vegan. It's super overcast today, it might rain, so the lighting's really terrible, but I've got my cashews in there. This is a cup of cashews soaking in almost boiling water. It wasn't quite boiling. I just ended up buying these raw cashews. They are just raw whole cashews and it calls for one cup, so I've got enough to make like half of a batch later if this works out. So they're just soaking there. The timer's gonna go off here in like 30 seconds and then we'll get started blending them up. Okay, basically now everything ends up going into the blender for five to seven minutes until it's all creamy. You will have to scrape down the sides of it. I am using my Ninja blender here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in here. I'm going to drain these out. It takes the soaked cashews, lemon juice, salt, and nutritional yeast, and you'll also have to add a little bit of water to it. I will leave the recipe I'm using down below. It's from glutenfreevegampantry.com, and it's called the best bleep vegan sour cream. This one is one of the recipes that's just been pinned tons and tons of times, so hopefully it is good. I'm just gonna start draining and measuring stuff. And I just have one lemon. The recipe calls for very specific lemon instructions. I'm just gonna use this whole thing. I actually have to wash it off. I forgot to do that. All right. And then to get the juice out, you just kind of roll it around for a second to help get that juice out. And I am going to use a couple of tools for this. I've got a little strainer thing that'll catch the seeds and also a lemon reamer. So this actually will just kind of stick right on top of there. So I can squeeze my lemons, I'll squeeze and then I'll use the lemon reamer. They're really nice tools if you use lots of lemons. We actually don't use a whole lot of lemons this time of year, usually. But in the summertime I make strawberry lemonade for us. I just add lemon juice to frozen strawberries and water and it makes just absolutely gorgeous strawberry lemonade. So we do that a lot in the summertime. Not so much this time of year, it's kind of cold and nasty. Right. Did end up getting a lot of juice out of there. It calls for, I think a quarter of a cup plus two tablespoons. And I definitely don't think I had that much, but we will make it work the best we can. Pause for half a cup of water. I just kind of eyeballed that in this measuring scoop. One teaspoon of nutritional yeast. You can buy this in pretty much any grocery store now. I'm pretty sure I picked this up at Target or another grocery store. I picked out this large flake nutritional yeast. It comes in a bag like so. Some stores also have this in bulk, so you can just pick out a little bit. I've gotten it from Sprouts before. And it's supposed to replace that cheesy, um, umami, savory type of flavor. It smells terrible, but it actually is not too bad tasting. So there's that. And then I just have to add the salt. It calls for just a quarter teaspoon of that. So I'm just gonna kinda eyeball this and get a little bit of salt in there and I'll add more salt if I want more salt. So time to blend this up. All right, let's get blending. I'm gonna put it on the highest power here. It does say five to seven minutes and you will have to scrape down the sides and then notice I should have been really careful about pouring in the seasonings because a lot of that nutritional yeast is on the blade up there. I don't know if that's gonna fly off. Let's find out. like it did fly off. It is really powerful. So I'm going to set this down here and scrape down those sides. Just have a little silicone spatula. Scrape all this down. I'll probably have to do this multiple times until all the little bits start getting really incorporated. But already it's starting to come together as a really thick sauce right now. So hopefully it actually is going to work. This was only like one minute so far. All right, 
scraped things down. I actually really like this blender because it has suction. So like it's suctioned to the counter, which is great. All right, that was about four minutes there. Now it's time to scrape it down again. There's not much to scrape down at this point. I have lost a few like larger bits on the lid. I'll tell you, it does smell like, uh, oops, see how creamy that looks? It does smell like nutritional yeast, so if you don't like that smell, you're out of luck with this recipe. It's starting to thicken up and come together, so I'm gonna let it blend for just a couple more minutes and we'll see how it is. And that's what it looks like. It's very, very thick. I didn't have quite enough lemon juice, so I may need to add a little bit of water to thin it out. I'm gonna try it like this because I like my sour cream pretty thick anyway. All right, this is gonna be the moment of truth. I'm gonna go ahead and taste test this one. It's been blending now for about six minutes altogether. While it was blending, I was starting to pack Livy's lunch. I am going to a uh, ladies brunch right before I pick her up from school. So I'm gonna have her lunch packed when I go. And you can see in there, hopefully, try to get on camera there. It's very thick and creamy, so we'll see. I'm actually a lefty, so this is gonna be awkward to try to do this on camera and not block the whole camera screen. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. It smells like nutritional yeast, which is not the greatest smell. I'm not going to lie, but it looks, looks pretty legit. I'm going to try to scrape out all of this. And it actually, you know, was really easy to make. Just threw everything in a blender and I scraped it down just a couple of times. And I am trying to get most of it out of that. It makes quite a bit. All right, moment of truth. I don't know what it tastes like, but it does not taste like sour cream, but it does have that creamy and savory and a little bit tart element. So I could totally use this in a place of a sour cream. Of course, it tastes a little different. Taking another taste. It does really have a strong cashew flavor. It's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna say it's the best thing I've ever had. I totally like regular sour cream better, but as a substitute, it's pretty good. It's got some good flavor and it's tart and tangy like sour cream. And I bet if I had enough of the lemon juice, it would have been even closer to the sour cream taste. And it does have that savory element. It's definitely creamy. I would probably give this a seven out of 10 as far as you know, comparing it to actual sour cream. It says it keeps for one to two weeks in the fridge, so I'm gonna use it for a while in place of sour cream and see how it goes. I would say this definitely is a recipe worth trying, so I hope you guys will give it a try. I hope you like this vegan experiment. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, bye. And just in case you actually wanted to see what Libby's having for lunch, I packed her a PB&J. She likes me to take off the crust, so I just rip it off. She has also got some raspberries and black beans, a cheese stick, and a cherry pie Lara bar with a couple of potato chips. So I put that over there so it doesn't get wet from those two. And I like these containers because a spoon will actually fit inside here. So I'll probably move the sandwich, set that in, and then put the sandwich on top. So after this, today's a fun packed day. We are having the ladies brunch. It's actually our Galentine's lunch. It's a little bit after Valentine's day. And then Olivia and I have a play date with one of her best buddies from school. So we're gonna go straight to the park and have a picnic and it'll be a lot of fun. So there's her little lunch. This is a snapware container, by the way.